Hi, good morning. It's uh, Barbara Bertisi, and I'm in St. Pete Beach, and I'm just so privileged to have the opportunity to share this morning, uh, feeling so good on this hot summer day because of these amazing technologies and amazing things that I have around me that have me just get up and not hurt. So with that, these little guys, I happen to be a reflexologist, but you don't need to be one to know that all the energy in our body can be affected by our feet. And thank goodness for these. I wore shoes yesterday. I was out and about, you know, it's been a while since I've been out and about and I was running all kinds of errands and things. So I wanted to make sure I had them in and I kept my energy. I kept my uh, stamina and I didn't hurt. And that's the beauty of these uh, amazing technologies is that, um, you know, um, let me put this on. Um, is that they are um, all natural, non-invasive, can't hurt you, can only help you. And um, I love that. And if you could see the energy coming off these guys, it would be like little vortexes, little energy fields. Um, and so we use the energy of the earth and the energy of the sun. And to me, um, it transformed my life. I have more energy today in my 60s than I did in my 30s. And that's given me back my life. And I just really want to share that with you and let you know how much uh, it's impacted my world, these technologies. And I just got back from a trip and thank goodness I had my water bottle that filters it as you drink it. So um, yeah, pretty amazing, pretty awesome uh, things that Niken comes up with for us to share uh, along the way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. Uh, June, uh, let's hear your share, okay? I'd be delighted to share. My name is June, and I live near the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. And most of my life, I have been an avid tennis player, love the sport. And a few years ago, in a competitive match, I injured my back pretty bad and was using a walker to get around. My tennis partner is a nurse and works in the ER department. And she called and said, "You, several of us in our department have discovered a technology that we're sharing among us that I think would help you. If you would be interested, I'll come over and share them with you. They're non-invasive and non-toxic. And since I thought I was headed for surgery, I said, come over immediately. And she came and brought two technologies with me. One was the shoe insoles, which Barbara mentioned, and the other was a product for my back. I placed things in my shoes. I placed these in my back and wore them 24 seven. And within a week, I was off of the walker and it was not long till I was back on the tennis court. I was so thankful to have escaped back surgery. And that was the beginning of my relationship with Deacon because the products are non-toxic and non-invasive. It was something I felt like I could share that people would benefit from. And I just invite you to be open to this technology because it will, you will be surprised how much energy you will have and how much better you'll feel. Thank you. Mm, that's great. Are you playing tennis now? Are you back out playing? Oh, I injured, I've switched to pickleball at my age <laughs> and loved, loved pickleball. And I have torn a tendon in my foot and I'm uh, working on that to get back on the court. Oh, there you go. There you go. Well, that's great, June. Thank you so much. It's, uh, I tell you, it's amazing how quick we can repair with this. So, all right, Elaine, you're up. Well, hey, go ahead and introduce some... yourself and where are you from? <laughs> oh, Elaine Brewster from Provo, Utah. Thank and you. I've been in ECAN about almost 24 years. And, um, when I was 17, I fell, fell off a mountain swing down about 30 feet off a mountain and I cracked a disc in my lower back and it has given me grief, you know, every now and then through the years, even 
as you can imagine, starting at a young age. And, um, and 24 years ago, when we found out about Niken, I didn't realize because you think it's normal, but my husband and I were both kind of, you know, creaking ourselves open in the morning. And I would do it really, really carefully because, because I didn't want to wake up too quickly and strain that back. And so I was having to, you know, wake up on eggshells. The very first night sleeping on the sleep system, I realized in the morning, I just rolled out of bed, you know, no effort at all. And that has continued this entire time. Now, and, and now we have this new little sleep as well. I can say little because it's really thin and it's really wonderful and it fits over the edges of your bed. So it just stays right there. It's really wonderful. Has, has a couple of extra technologies that we didn't used to have that are very comforting. And, and it might seem like a little thing, you know, to be able to roll out of bed instead of have to get out of bed so carefully, but it's really not. I don't have, I don't have the strains. I don't have the problem that I used to have. And it's just from sleeping on it. And I think that's pretty cool. That's awesome. That's great, Lane. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, okay. Um, Barbara, Richmond, coming to you in Canada. We won't mind. Let's see how you do with your lawnmower. <laughs> well, they are still here. Uh, when I was younger, I studied for my RN exam, sitting in the sun, enjoying in the sun, trying to get a nice golden tan. Didn't have any breaks to eat or drink because my mom spoiled me by bringing me out my brain power. Fast forward, I had damaged my skin and I had to have treatment. This treatment, I didn't realize how horrendous it was going to be. I will try and share my screen. I've had some challenges with this. Let me see. <clears throat> can anybody see that? Oh my goodness. Yes, we can. That was just one phase of the treatment. I'll see yeah. if I can bring up another one. And who's, who else is talking? What's your dog's name? <laughs> Might as well introduce that's, us. That's Beasley. And he does not like uh, the lawnmowers carrying on. He doesn't, uh, he had a bad experience with um, <laughs> the landlord. And he associates everything with the landlord. Um, Okay, can you, you see, see the, Can you see this picture? You got to click on it. See all of your pictures. No, it's not working. How about a right click? Open. It, I had it working before we started and Okay. Well, you got the idea from that one picture. Yeah. So tell what us happened what, yeah. was, what happened was my entire face was burnt. I was supposed to do this treatment for 28 days. And those pictures were at day 10. Wow. I did the treatment for two more days and I just couldn't continue. The discomfort was absolutely horrendous. I don't have any of the over-the-counter... Um, medications to remove discomfort or alleviate it in any way even in my apartment but I went out and I purchased them because I was desperate for some relief nothing worked I went 17 nights without sleeping properly and I was at my wits end one Monday I remember just sobbing and I had to stop crying even though it was a release because the tears stung so badly if I, I couldn't open my mouth to eat 
but I could jam a straw in. So the Niken KVB vegan drink mix, Siaga and Jade Greens, I knew I was getting my nourishment. I could shove my pills in through my lips, grab them with my tongue and get them that way. I could drink lots of water. But what I discovered really worked was this little bottle that's filled with pie water. Mm. I started spraying that on my face. When I did that, the discomfort was alleviated considerably and I could get some sleep. The next thing I did was I took white face cloths that I had washed, but not dried with fabric softeners or anything like that, soaked those in pie water and put them on my face, held them in place, bottom and top with the knee can headband. Wow. And that alleviated yeah. much of the discomfort. But I had to be very careful because every time I took the face cloths off my face, some of my skin came off as well. So I lost three layers of skin. First, it crusted and dried. And if I smiled or, or changed an expression, it would crack and bleed. I was warned not to pick any of the scabs off because it would scar underneath. It was the worst experience I've ever had. I've been through other situations, surgical situations, and been up walking the day of the surgery, even though it was major surgery. But you always know when you go through something like that, that each day is going to get better. With this, each day got worse. I cut the treatment. I stopped the treatment at the end of the 12th day. Yeah. I had contacted the dermatologist and he just sort of blew it off sent me a prescription for allergy pills, discovered later that I was less than 1% of the total population that has this reaction. So, if you know any young people, please encourage them to wear sunblock. Back when I was doing it, we didn't know about the dangers of the sun. It doesn't show up right away, but it does show up as you age. And if you ever have a, an infrared photo taken of your skin, you'll be amazed at how much damage is actually there from sun exposure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always, always, <laughs> always wear a sunblock. When I go out now, I have to have a wide brimmed hat on. I have to have sunblock on and make sure that my face is never directly exposed to the sun again. Mm -hmm. So a lesson learned, a difficult lesson learned, but if this can save anybody from going through that extreme yeah. discomfort, like nothing I've ever experienced before, then it's worth sharing. Mm, that is true. You, you and Beasley, I mean, that's amazing. Um, he... <laughs> He had to put his two cents in with it as well. But I tell you he that- He just uh, doesn't like the sound of the people that are here. You know, <laughs> he's very protective of mummy. Well, and the spritzer is good because, you know, you don't realize I uh, somehow don't have mine by my computer anymore, but I would spritz when I would sit by my computer to kind of get my eyes doing, but it also woke me up and got me fresh so I could sit there and do a bunch more emails and whatever I need to do at the computer. So, you know, we just well, don't- Well, mine is here all the time and my ground, my kinkle ground is under my laptop. Nice. And I've got my necklaces on. So, I mean, I'm, I'm prepared. You can prepare me for anything. Is, and your energy is awesome. Your energy is great. <laughs> and I tell you, you know, that's the whole thing is we're all aging. We just don't want to get old in the midst of this. And these are some things that are tangible items that you get and you and you have. And I know you've got, uh, Barbara, you've got the necklaces on. And you know, that you, it, it's like in your toolkit, you know, we have these things and they're just tremendous uh, energy fields that you put on and then the body does the healing itself. So- uh, These bracelets, 
these bracelets have allowed me to avoid surgery that was recommended 18 years ago. That's great. That's awesome. Hey guys, get with the person that invited you to look at this video and share. We'll be on again next week and we have different themes and different ways of sharing, but you also get to see um, other uh, ways to use some of these technologies and not, um, yeah, just leave it like that. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Thanks for coming out and, uh, um, and forward it on to someone that you know might uh, make a difference in their life because there's amazing technologies that we have that are non-invasive, can't hurt you, only help you. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time.